let me share a few words. You know, two years ago, we started this quest for president. And we saw a young man emerge from the pack. We saw him literally take over the, everybody else. We saw him lead people. And more importantly, he saw in America something that we all needed. He gave us hope. He gave us hope. Don't you agree? Yes. He gave us hope. Yes. This young man came and said, yes, we can do this. He gave us the hope that we all need to give our children, our grandchildren, and the generations to come that America is the greatest country on earth. And he also gave us the ganas, they say in Spanish, that means that you just are going to do it, that we want change. Do we yeah. want change? Yeah. Yeah. I want change because as a woman and as a Latina, I will no longer let John McCain abandon Arizona women. against funding to fight and prevent domestic violence. Is that good? No! And as a Latina, he abandoned us, betrayed us, and turned his back on our community on immigration. And we will not stand that, will we? No! So we are going to vote for the candidate for hope, the candidate who votes for women, who passes laws, for victims of domestic violence, who has sworn to the Hispanic community, he will shepherd and pass true immigration reform, and he will bring us what we need in this country. He will bring us the hope that we can carry on, and our grandchildren and their great-grandchildren will see a better tomorrow. So with that, the one thing that I see often forget. As an elected official for 25 years, I learned very early on, do not take this for granted. We cannot afford to take this election for granted. So work your heart out this week. Wear your Obama shirts every single day. Make sure that everybody gets their ballots in on election day, volunteer, and let's bring this country change. Ladies and